Two of the four areas that we mentioned in terms of concern with chemical residues in beef cattle would be contamination of feedstuffs and then accidental exposure of cattle to hazardous chemicals or chemicals that might create a residue problem. Along those lines, most operations are going to be using some type of mechanical equipment to handle feed at some time. This may be the front end loader on a tractor that's used to move hay bales around. It may be used, maybe an electronic cake feeder on the back of a truck. It may be a bobcat skid loader, such as we're standing by here today. Or in some more mechanized operation, they may actually have some feed mixing apparatus that they're using. All of these equipment use uh, some type of compounds, whether they're petrochemical compounds such as oil, hydraulic fluid, transmission oil, or other chemicals such as antifreeze and so forth, that can potentially create a chemical residue problem if cattle are exposed to those, either through consumption of feed that's been exposed to those chemicals or from the cattle actually directly consuming those materials. If we'll notice on this bobcat loader, of course, here's a hydraulic cylinder. You can see that we have some oil where some dirt is collected. Again, that's natural. What we're concerned about is if we have leaking hydraulic cylinders that someone, for instance, is using a front end loader to move hay bales around on the ranch and that at e in the evening, instead of moving the hydraulic uh, front end loader away from the hay bales, they simply lay the loader up on top of the bales and overnight oil may leak onto those bales and be there for consumption by animals in the morning. We just need to be aware of that and do our best to maintain our ha feed handling equipment, keep it clean, keep, keep the uh, whatever oils and so forth may be from leaking on, onto our feed materials. Also, any of those chemicals that we're keeping on site for maintenance purposes, make sure that we keep those out away from our feedstuffs. We don't need to be storing transmission fluid and oil and antifreeze and other chemicals near feedstuffs where we can have accidental spills. Uh, or leakage onto the feedstuffs that we'll be using with our cattle later on. Additionally, uh, cattle can have direct exposure to these chemicals simply by leaving our farm equipment where cattle can have access to it. We all know that cattle are very curious. Uh, they will lick, smell, and chew on many things. And if we leave, for instance, this front end loader out where cattle have direct ac access to it, they could clean up these hydraulic cylinders for us by licking on them. They could uh, lick on other areas or if there's any kind of leakage out of the bottom of the motor or other transmission area or whatever on that piece of equipment, they might actually consume that material. So we need to keep uh, cattle away from direct access to this farm equipment and get, again, direct access to the chemicals and maintenance materials we use for this farm equipment.